All right, here is the schematic that we learned to create in the last video. So select the resistor to change the properties and right click or just from the keyboard shortcut is Q. Change the resistance value to 1 kilo ohm and similarly change the property of the voltage source. We will define the DC voltage in terms of a variable called Vs. All right. Using the variable in a schematic makes the design process much easier to control. Okay, so we are ready to simulate. Now, before simulating, you must check and save. And after that, go to launch and then run the ADEL. Now, this window is our simulation center from where we control our simulation engines of Virtuoso. This tiny window at the left will contain all design variables. Right now, we have defined only one variable and we want to bring it here. So just right click on it and just select copy from cell view and the variable will appear here. We will give it a value, 5 volts. All right. Now we will add a simulation engine, go to analysis and choose. This window is your simulation engine window. It will provide you a bunch of powerful simulation engines like TRAN for transient and SP for S parameter and HB for harmonic balance of nonlinear circuits and PSS for periodic steady state analysis and many more. We will run DC simulations, so select DC and under DC analysis option, enable save DC operating point. We will sweep our design variable VS, so enable this option, design variable, sweep variable, and write down the name of the design variable we have defined. The name was VS, so just write down VS. And then we will define a range of sweep. We will start from 1 volt and stop at 5 volts with a linear step of 1 volt. And make sure that the option is enabled because without it, you will receive an error message. All right, so this is our DC simulation engine with a short description. And now we are ready to simulate. But before simulation, we will do one more thing. Go to Outputs menu, and select Save All. You must enable all options here. This is very important. This will save all the node currents which can be later used to plot the node currents of the circuit. Okay, so after that, we will run the simulation. So go to Simulation and select this or the quicker way to run simulation is to just click on this green bubble. So simulation is done. But there is nothing to show because we didn't define anything what to show. Usually what we like to see must be defined in this window, outputs window. But we didn't define anything here. Alright, now let's go to results menu and direct plot. And we'd like to see the current versus voltage waveform. So from this menu, select current and select the terminal. Yeah, select this node to see the current. Okay, so this is the current versus voltage waveform. You can see this is quite linear. So it confirms the Ohm's law, voltage and current have linear characteristic in the plot. The voltage was swept from 1 volt to 5 volt and the corresponding value of the current was plotted. Now we can customize the plot property. We can change the color and the width of the curve. And from here we can change the width can do many more things like we can change the axis properties if you'd like to change the y-axis just right click on it and select axis properties 
Maybe we'd like to change the scale of the axis, change to manual mode and give the maximum value of y axis 10 milliampere. So the maximum value of the y axis is changed to 10 milliamperes. Alright, now you know many things in Cadence, at least the basic things. Thank you for watching my video.